Hey you guys, today I have a Halloween DIY. I actually have three of them. We're going to start with this one. This is just a little sign that I brought from the Target dollar spot. It was only a dollar and it actually said fall in there and I took it off and I repainted it white. So this is how it looked. I removed the fall thing and I repainted it white. We're going to go ahead and add this paper that I already cut and measured in the middle, but I want to add a decal to it. I'm going to go ahead and add this basic witch decal that I thought would be perfect for this project, and we're going to add it right in the middle. Now, don't get scared. You can add a decal to cardstock, and it's not going to rip. First, I'm going to grab my transfer tape, and I'm going to show you. I'm just going to cut it and measure it and make sure it's perfect. So, don't add it to regular paper or construction, add it to cardstock because the paper is way thicker than just regular paper and I don't want it to rip. So I'm going to go ahead and add my transfer tape. I'm going to go ahead and grab my tools and I'm going to scrape this down really nice. Scrape it down really nice. Make sure you get every angle of it. So when you do lift it with your transfer tape, it comes off nice and easy and you're ready to put it onto your cardstock. Go ahead and grab your spatula very slowly and then we're going to go ahead and peel the back you're going to see how easy this is don't get scared you're not going to rip the paper i already tested it out for you like always and have everything ready go ahead and remove it you see how easy that was now make sure you get it right in the middle before you place it down and once you have it where you want it go ahead and place that down grab your tools again and scrape it down so it stays nice and sticky and don't worry it's not going to rip the paper now what you're going to do is you're going to peel it back nice and slow. And look at how easy that was. Peel it back and it's going to stay on there. It's going to look so cute. Now for one of these signs, you would usually pay, what, $25 plus shipping. Right here, I made my own for a dollar. So isn't that cool? I can also sell you the decal if you like. So go ahead and email me if you want on that. But look at how awesome that looks. It came out perfect. I cannot wait to put this on my two-tier tray. I am super happy with this. It came out wonderful. And I love it. Now we're going to go ahead and make two more DIYs for my two-tier tray. I have some items that I'm showing you right now. And those are from last year. I just wanted to display them because they will make it onto my tray. And I just, I'm in love with this. It's so beautiful, you guys. I am happy I made it. I can make it in any color. Now, I found that at the dollar store, and those, I put my little marshmallow cup on top. Now, I thought this year my marshmallow cup needed something different, so I decided to make a witch's hat. Now, the way I made it is going to be super basic and simple. You know, I don't like anything complicated. Go ahead and grab some black cardstock. And we're going to go ahead and make a little witch's hat. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need some tape. And that's it. And an exacto knife if you want it. Now, all I'm going to do is make a circle. I already measured the marshmallow cup. And this is a circle that's going to allow it to look really nice. Go ahead and measure whatever you're making the witch's hat to before you get started. Make your circle. I'm going to use a pencil. And then I'm just going to cut it out. Nothing complicated. Just really easy and simple. That's all I want right now. Go ahead and grab your scissors. Cut it out as much as you can. If you have a circle already made, even better. If you want to go ahead and make it on your big shot, go for it. But I'm just using my scissors and that's it. And it actually is going to come out really pretty when it's done. And that's it. And make sure you measure it on top of your display. And that is perfect. Look how cute it looks already. Now, we're going to go ahead and make the top of the witch's hat very easy. All we're going to do is bend it over. And I'm going to use tape to cut it. That's all I'm going to use. You can use anything you need. You can use glue. You can use tape. Whatever you want. I'm going to cut a piece of the construction paper to make it easier. And I'm going to start playing with it. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to tape it together. And look at how cool that is. And this is just regular plain cardstock paper. I'm going to add the tape to the back of it. Now you can add the tape on the inside if you don't want it to show. You can add it on the inside and the outside. Now all I'm going to do is play with it and I'm going to cut it and measure it. I just want to cut it and measure it just to see 
how big I need it, how small. I don't want to go overboard and make it way too small, but I don't want to have it <laughs> way too big as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a half of that. I'm going to cut the slits on the side just to guide me. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the big cut. After you're done cutting it this way, go ahead and measure it one more time. And then just go ahead and cut it into a circle. You want your witch's hat to be a circle. You don't want it to be pointy on the sides. You need the whole thing into a circle. So when we are ready to glue it down, which is next, we're going to glue it down. We have it really nice and steady. We don't want it crooked or nothing like that. And look at how cute that is already. Isn't that just plain adorable? So this is the perfect size for my little marshmallow. And this hat is going to be so cute for my two-tier tray. So this is perfect for me. The next step is we're going to put um, cuts on the side of the hat. We're going to put them all around. And they're going to be like an inch. Nothing bigger than that. Because I'm going to glue this down. So I'm going to show you really quick how easy it's going to be. Go ahead and grab some glue. I got my fabric glue is what I'm using. I picked it up at Walmart. And I love using it. Now this is where your exacto blade is going to come in. I'm going to go ahead and make an X. And all I'm going to do is punch those pieces out. And those four pieces are going to be where my hat, it's going to hold my hat so it doesn't move. You see those four pieces? It's going to go actually the other way. It's going to go inside the cup and it's going to hold the hat so it doesn't move. Here it, they are again. And look at how it's going to sit right on top. Now, you see the cuts on the top of the witch's hat? All I'm doing now is bending it back. That's very simple. Just bend it back with your hands. And that's where the glue is going to go on. See how simple that was? And I'm going to glue this down. And trust me, once you glue it down, it's not going to move ever again. This is a great glue. I picked it up at Walmart and it's a um, fabric glue. So the idea is to glue them right on top. So add your glue. Be generous. This glue dries clear. So if it does come out, you're never going to see it. It dries super clear. And it kind of like just disappears on its own. That's why I love it so much, especially when I'm making gift cards and, you know, just cards. Now I'm going to hold it down nice and flat. And you're going to hold it down for a couple of seconds just while the glue dries. And trust me, it's going to dry super fast. Once it dries, it's not going to move. So make sure you have it right in the middle. And with my hands, I'm just going to pinch it. I'm going to pinch all around the hat because I want to make sure that that circle stays and nothing comes out and nothing gets moved that I don't want to move. But it's once it's it glues, the glue dries, it's going to stay there. See how I'm going around with my finger just to make sure it stays nice and round. Once you're ready, just pop the bottom up. And you're ready to put it onto your marshmallow cup or wherever you're going to put your little witch's hat. It's going to go really nice. You don't have to do the bottom in case that's just because I wanted it to go inside the marshmallow cup. But if you don't have one and you're just making a hat, it'll go on perfect. Just place it on top. And there you go. Look at how cute that is. There you go. You have a simple, basic witch's hat. Great for your two-tier tray display for your marshmallow cup now we're going to put that to the side and when you make a hat we definitely have to make the broomstick now the broomstick is going to be super easy you can grab a twig from a side a stick that you have in your house i had these and they're from the dollar store and you get like i want to say like 20 in a pack for a dollar i already had them so they were perfect to make this little um witch's broom you're also going to need twine and you're also going to need ribbon. So go ahead and um, go ahead and um, use your ribbon and your twine and some scissors. Now this is going to be super easy. It looks hard, but trust me, it is so not hard. It is going to be easy. I'm going to go ahead and use this ribbon. If you have black ribbon and especially thin black ribbon, it's perfect for this project. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my twine and I'm going to cut it. 
I want to say I did three inches. You can do four to five because I end up making some bigger. So do four to five. And all I'm doing is going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I want to say I did 10 to 20 pieces. So if you want it really nice and full, do 20 like me. The fuller the broomstick is, the it's going to look nicer. Let me tell you. Now cut the bottoms and the top. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull it apart. When I pulled apart my twine, I got three pieces out of it. And that is perfect. So pull it apart as many pieces as it gives you. Just go ahead and pull them apart. This is going to make the broomstick look more real. And it's trust me, it's going to pay off. So go ahead and pull them all apart one by one and see how many pieces you can get out of your twine. I picked this up at the dollar store. So if you want to use the same one, it's at the dollar store. But go ahead and do them all. Just pull them apart and look at how it's looking already like a broom. It's very easy, nothing complicated. Just go ahead and pull them. And you want it nice and thick and full. So keep pulling and do. I suggest you do 20 pieces before you start gathering everything together now you go ahead and have your glue gun ready because we are going to use it for the end and you're just going to use a little bit of it you don't have to use it you can just go ahead and use a glue dot it's optional or you can use nothing and just tie it but look at how easy it just comes apart and that's it the next step is to go ahead and gather everything together. You don't have to worry about having it super nice and just super neat because you want it nice and messy like a witch's broom. You want it nice and, you know, nice but yet messy. We're going to add the stick right in the middle and then we're going to tie it right there. You see where my hands are at? You're going to make sure it's really nice and you're going to tie it. And you can always trim and cut everything at the end, but we want to make sure that it looks really nice and messy and don't make it too straight make it you know different sizes go ahead and play with it and just play with it until you have it exactly how you want it make sure that it goes all the way around and there's no empty spots if there is go ahead and add some more i'm going to grab just a little piece of ribbon which i'm going to go ahead and tie everything together i'm going to grab it with my fingers right there i'm going to add the ribbon now I actually added a little drop of glue just to close and hold everything down together, which I recommend so nothing moves. You can also use a little small rubber band for the hair before you add the ribbon, but you have to add the ribbon so it looks really nice. The ribbon gives it that extra nice look, but I added a little bit of glue. I'm just playing with it and making it look really nice. But look, at, I'm going to add a little glue right there. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Go ahead and email me. I'm also going to leave my Instagram. Now, all I'm going to do is fold it. Make sure you don't burn your hand. And it's going to hold. And look at how cool that looks. Isn't that just so cool? Go ahead and grab your scissors and anything that's out of place, anything you don't want, go ahead and cut it off and just trim the top and the bottom. But make sure you don't trim it too perfect because we kind of want that look, that little messy look. And look at how cute that is. Now you have your witch's hat, your witch's broom, and your sign, and you are ready to display it onto your two-tier tray. Go ahead and do that. Let me know. Go ahead and tag me on Instagram if you do. I would love to see what you came up with. If you went ahead and you made any of these DIYs, I would love to see them. Go ahead and tag me on them or go ahead and DM me. I would love to see it, you guys. But I am super happy. I cannot wait to put my two-tier tray display with you. I am definitely going to film it so you see how it came out because I also have a couple of little things that I'm adding on there that are not here. But I love this little broom. It is adorable. Now you know how to make one and you also know how to make a witch's hat. Go ahead and make something and let me know how your Halloween um, display goes. 
Now you can add a ribbon onto your hat as well. You can add jewels. You can add everything you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine plain because I love it like that. But I am loving the sign. I cannot wait to display everything. I hope you guys make one. If you do, let me know. And until next time, bye you guys.